Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new news in regards to a new Arrowverse show coming to the CW. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So this information is coming from Murphy's Multiverse. You can check them out in the description below. There will be a link to the article. So they are pretty reliable, but I would still take it with a grain of salt considering that things can change in regards to this new show, that being Gotham Knights, which was announced pretty recently and we've been talking about it quite a lot, especially since the CW just ordered a pilot for Gotham Knights. But you have to remember that it's not 100% certain that we're going to get like a full series of this. This is just casting that we're going to be talking about for the pilot that they're trying to do. And they will film it sometime in April. So that is a couple months from now. And we should get some more news. Maybe we'll get some set photos when it eventually happens. But for now, it's not 100% confirmed. So don't get like super excited. Oh, we're going to have a whole series about Gotham Knights and starring these characters because there's always the chance that it doesn't go ahead past the pilot like it happens all the time we've seen it with our other shows recently but in regards to what the Gotham Knights show is going to be about it's mainly about Batman's adoptive son and his new alliance to the children of Batman's worst villains and so it begins in the wake of Batman's death so we're not sure where it's set in the Arrowverse right now we're pretty sure it's set on another earth because it wouldn't make sense that Batman's death would be so explicitly known because on Batwoman, it's been made a huge deal out of since season 1 that Batman disappeared. He didn't die, but in this description that they released for Gotham Knights, it's certain that Batman dies and that's what kind of kicks off the show. But anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and read this article. So it begins like this. Thanks to a friendly source, we've been able to put together a pretty good picture of the show's core characters, the Bat Family. The series is currently looking to cast several series regulars ahead of an April start of production in Toronto. So just quickly, it's important to note that this is being filmed in Toronto, the same city as Titans, and not like the CW's other shows, which is definitely an interesting choice that they're not going for Vancouver. I mean, the CW's other shows tend to film in cities in America, but Vancouver is their main one in Canada and you have to remember Titans isn't a CW show so that's kind of the reason why it was in a different city but yeah so this is going to be interesting that it's in that city I guess they want the kind of skyline that they have in Titans maybe they prefer it than Vancouver in terms of that Gotham setting okay let's move on to the next bit so most notably Gotham Knights is looking for an actor 18 or older to fill the role of a series regular that fits the bill of Dick Grayson, the first Robin, an adoptive son of Bruce Wayne. Described as athletic and sensitive, the character remains resilient despite being vulnerable following the murder of his parents and subsequent adoption by Wayne. Interestingly enough, it looks like Grayson won't be the only former Robin on the show it seems as though Grayson will be joined by Stephanie Brown, aka Spoiler, a genius level hacker whose father, a DC villain named Clue Master, raised her on a steady diet of brain teasers and puzzles. Gotham Knights is searching for an 18 year old actress to portray the sarcastic and smart character. Okay, so let's go over that information. So Dick Grayson is supposedly looking to be cast right now. This would be very interesting since we already have a Dick Grayson in the Arrowverse. And also, we're probably going to get Dick Grayson in the DCEU at some point, maybe with the Batgirl film or any future Batman films. So with this, it would be like a younger version of Dick Grayson. They're looking for an actor who is like 18 or older, and it's interesting that they specify 18, and they specify it as well for Stephanie Brown. So they're definitely looking for a younger cast, like they're not saying, oh, 25 and older, and then you can be cast in the role. No, they're looking for 18 and older. So they're available and they're looking for people who just look a bit younger. And so in terms of Dick Grayson, it's that, you know, the character is described as athletic and sensitive. And the character remains resilient despite being vulnerable following the murder of his parents and subsequent adoption by Bruce Wayne. So that kind of really does fit the bill of Dick Grayson. 
more so than any other past version of Robin. Like, I was suspecting maybe we might get, like, Damian Wayne, because I didn't think they would want that kind of crossover where you have, like, another version of Dick Grayson. But then again, I guess they don't really care about it, because this is introducing Batman as a dead character. And, like, on Titans, obviously, Bruce Wayne still exists. On Batwoman, Batman disappeared. So I guess they're not really worried about that, and especially after Superman and Lois, I guess they kind of set the precedent for kind of retconning stuff within the Arrowverse, even while being an Arrowverse show. So let's move on to the next bit. So Stephanie Brown is coming to the show. She used to be Robin in the comics, and she'll be her spoiler version of herself. And so she's a genius level hacker, and her father, Clue Master, Obviously, that's a big thing about the show. All of them, except Robin, are the children of villains. And she is extremely smart. She's going to be a smart character of the show, basically the Felicity, because she was brought up on a steady diet of brain teasers and puzzles. Obviously, that's because her father was the Clue Master. So, you know, that's how his brain works, and that's how, you know, naturally he would raise a kid. But it would be interesting to see if their parents show up at any point. Or is it that their parents are dead, their villain parents were killed at the same time as Batman? But that's probably less likely because a big part of the show is about like them being framed for Batman's murder, they're not being framed for like a series of murders. So you would presume that their villainous parents are still around, unless they were killed off like a while ago on the show and now it's Batman's turn to go away. But let's continue with this article so we can also deduce that Harper Rowe, aka Bluebird, is set to join Grayson on the team. The studio is searching for a female to play a blue-haired bisexual character who has taken to the streets to escape her abusive home life. Her brother, Cullen, also looks to be joining the series with the studio searching for a transgender actor who identifies as male for the role. So this is interesting, we got Harper Rowe, aka Bluebird, showing up on the show. And so this follows on from what happens in the comics where Harper and Cullen were forced to live with their alcoholic father. And that led her to trying to be able to fix things for herself. So that's where she gets her technical skills, which you'll see in the show. And she is mainly gifted in terms of electrical engineering, and so she's pretty good at making gadgets. She'll probably end up making the gadgets for the team. So I guess she's kind of the Cisco of the show if you're going to compare it to anyone in the rest of the Arrowverse. And so Cullen, who is going to be coming to the show, her brother, is going to be played by a transgender actor who identifies as male. I'm really looking forward to this because this will mark the second transgender actor who is going to be on the show and also the second transgender character. So super excited and hopefully they do this character justice because they are pretty new, so they don't have, like, that much source material to go off of, but I think they can do something very interesting with those two characters. Okay, so Gotham Knights will also feature a quick-witted British attaché who sounds like she could be Julia Pennyworth, daughter of Alfred Pennyworth. In the comics, Julia came into the picture after her father was disabled following an attack from Hush. Following in her father's footsteps, she helped the Bat family coordinate their efforts. So recently, we've seen Julia Pennyworth on Batwoman. I'm not up to date with the show right now, so I don't know if she's still sticking around, but she was a big part of last season. So I would be surprised if this actually went through and was Julia Pennyworth. I think a quick-witted British attaché definitely could be to do with the Pennyworths, but I don't know if they're going to make it the same character, only because, you know, they are literally the writers of Batwoman, the people running this show and coming up with the ideas. Would they want to literally copy and paste one of their characters into this other show? Surely you'd want to make like a slightly different character who maybe isn't called the same. And it's just weird, but I do understand why it could be possible, especially because of Superman Lois and because of all those changes that I've talked about, as they've kind of set the precedent for ignoring stuff in the Arrowverse whilst also being a part of the Arrowverse. So Julia Pennyworth would kind of shock me if that turns out to be true. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And she's obviously going to be helping out 
the family, but she isn't the daughter of any villain, so I'm wondering if it is someone else, and it's like some British villain who was in Batman's past and had a daughter who just so happens to sound like Julia Pennyworth in the casting description. Okay, so let's move on to probably one of the most interesting parts of the article, and so it goes like this. Probably the most startling character headed for Gotham Knights is one described as the daughter of the most dangerous man in Gotham. First thoughts are that the series is going to introduce Joker's daughter, Julia Dent, who claimed to be the daughter of the Joker and also claimed to be the daughter of about every villain in Gotham. So that would definitely be an interesting twist because we've seen iterations of the Joker but they are pretty reluctant to show them in the Arrowverse only because the Joker is a big thing with the Joker film just coming out a couple years ago and probably a Joker 2 coming out sometime soon. So they don't want to put a big prominence of Joker in the TV shows. So that's why it makes sense that they would try and continue that Joker legacy in a Bat Family related show but use Joker's daughter instead of Joker and that's just kind of your way to get those references in and to talk about Joker as a real thing rather than anything kind of hypothetic talking about oh yeah you remember when Batman fought the Joker but this way you get like first-hand accounts of how the Joker was in this Gotham Knights world whatever earth it turns out to be in the Arrowverse. And obviously Gotham's most dangerous man could be referencing another villain. It isn't 100% that it's Joker, it could be Bane, and maybe his daughter shows up. Bane's daughter was just in the comic book, so that's definitely possible. And in the comics, there is some confusion about whose daughter she actually is. Like, is she Two-Face's daughter? Is she Joker's daughter? What actually is going on with her? And so this may be built into the show if they do go with this Dulia Dent character. But Murphy's Multiverse is completely right that this is definitely the most startling and most shocking character description that they've been able to release because it gets you thinking like, who could be the most dangerous man in Gotham? And imagine if it was Joker and he had a daughter. But let's move on to the final description. So the CW is also searching for a handful of other series regulars. So we're going to get a big cast, it seems, including one that could be Lucius Fox's daughter, Tiffany, to join the team in addition to the already exciting number of characters listed here many of whom will be making their live action debut. There's also room for plenty of guest stars and supporting members of the cast. Hopefully with the scheduled start of production right around the corner, casting will start to trickle out soon. So Lucius Fox's daughter would definitely be interesting and obviously there is no quote here in regards to what her character kind of tropes are. But the only thing that makes me question whether it's Lucius Fox's daughter and whether Julia Pennyworth is actually going to show up on the show is only because the Gotham Knights description of the series made sure to emphasize that most of the team members that would be teaming up with Batman's adoptive son would be the children of villains and so obviously Alfred Pennyworth wasn't a villain, and also Lucius Fox was never a villain, even if they're not around anymore. It would kind of surprise me if they bring them in straight away as like a core character of the show, only because them actually teaming up makes a lot of sense, whereas someone like Joker's daughter teaming up with Batman's son really doesn't make a lot of sense, and I think that's part of the intrigue of the show, that they are bringing together these completely separate characters who have been brought up in a very, very different environment and bringing them together and uniting them as a new team known as the Gotham Knights is definitely an intriguing premise, but then including people from the Bat Family or related to the Bat Family already, like Julia Pennyworth or Tiffany Fox, doesn't make as much sense. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for Gotham Knights? I'm definitely excited to see the CW's pilot of the show. Hopefully it goes ahead two series if they're impressed with it. Remember it starts filming in April so we should be getting some information in regards to proper casting and who the confirmed characters of the show are at some point soon because as I've emphasized throughout this video this is speculation about some of the casting details that have been put out in regards to characters they're looking for. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. 
But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.